Hi everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Pre-G 2023 Remake. Uh, I'm just starting this menu to show it off and also to show that my niece actually started a game file herself for some reason. I don't know why she wanted to play it when she was over, but I guess she just saw the game cart uh, box uh, right there and she did play it before. She didn't, she didn't, she wasn't playing it as if she didn't know what was going to happen, but uh, she... Well, I mean, she could have gotten far because she was she, not only she was she, she playing on breezy mode, but she could also do time hits. But uh, eventually, she probably would have hit a wall. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome back. Last time we got our first star piece and we beat uh, Clay Morton, aka Mac, in the original version. Now we're gonna go to the Caro sewers, the Coca Cola sewers, or whatever, and eventually meet Milo's grandpa. Also, don't forget that. You're supposed to give the get the cricket pie before you leave, otherwise it's gonna bite you back in the ass much later in the game, unless you were deliberately just uh, not uh, getting around to doing it. Anyway, this is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for Balom, whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. Press A to enter. That to be fair, pressing down to enter, it still works. I just press down. So the pressing down to enter still works, but uh. It's not very intuitive, the way you do the press down to enter. I gotta be frank. Because when you get back up from it, the, the thing, it doesn't let you press down to re-enter. Because, I mean, that wouldn't make much sense, right? But uh, if you uh, if you go back on it, then down to enter again, it's, it's just inconsistent, really. We're gonna read the directions anyway. Stand on the pipe and push A. Re-enter pipe, or jump off once and try again. So... Yeah, I press down right there. The A, A button logic still applies as if it's the down button logic. The down on the movement pad. Uh, we are going to fight some of the enemies here. Oh wow, they can jump. I forgot about that. I, to be honest, I don't think they could do that in the original. I messed that up. But we know what to do with fish. Electrocute them. Okay, I actually might have to double back a couple of times while doing this dungeon. <laughs> it's not too obvious where you're supposed to go. Cool, flower. Nothing here. We're gonna fight this thing because I want to show it off. The rat funk. Once again! <laughs> Easy clap! Like, some people are like, oh, they made the game easier. And maybe they did, but it, it, it was always easy to just uh, completely wipe the floor with the enemies. And it, that's a good thing, because it means you don't waste as much time on them. Like, come on. It, it just bothers me so much that people were expecting the game to be, like, super hard when they released it. Uh, I should have gone for the other boo. I hesitated because I thought I might need that boo for something, but I'm, I was thinking of a different area. Oh, the hobgoblins. These drop a really powerful item. Specifically the pure water. I think it's still called the pure water. Oh, those things can run. But uh, they drop it and it's like worth 75 coins. So if you want to get lots of money, the, the hobgoblins are a good farming point for it. It's still the pure water. Uh, now, obviously, it's supposed to be holy water because undead and... Uh, I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you use it on the undead. It's clearly supposed to be holy water. But back when this game was originally made, you couldn't do stuff like uh, doing religion uh, statements. At least, I mean... Not unless you think you could get away with it. Ted Woosley was fairly, um, not lax, but he was quite strict on making sure that you wouldn't get uh, punished for accidentally leaving a religious reference uh, in a Nintendo game. Because he understood that uh, if the game was caught, that, that just means more work for the, the, the entire team, right? Or more, more work for him, I guess. It could also mean that uh, the game would be translated in uh, such a way that 
would not be under his supervision, you know, to fix it. So, taking all those things into account, it makes perfect sense that he would uh, be extra careful to make sure the game would never, ever go to this stage of having to be uh, re-localized uh, again because uh, there's too many religious references. Come on, Mallow. Thunderbolt is still so cheap. I think a way to nerf Thunderbolt would simply be to make it more expensive. Hey, we're back here. <laughs> See? This place is confusing. Of course, I've been avoiding the water quite a bit. But that doesn't help. So now let's go right over here. After we heal Mallow real quick. Oh, goodness gracious. It's the... Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, so these stains have been given new names and uh, they're quite appropriate. Because there's uh, quite a few of these things. Oh, I missed the timing. Damn it. Uh, I guess I'll talk peek again because uh, we're so interested in seeing that. Okay, keep screwing up the timing for Milo's stuff and wow, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Let's heal real quick. And got another freebie. Now let's get the timing down. There we go. I, I kept pressing it too early. Grumble, what a what a way to bother a person when they're sleeping. And you're very... Yeah, they're dead here. I always thought these things have way too much HP, but obviously I'm a lot uh, more consistent at uh, defeating them. I think we've unlocked Super Jump here? No, it's next level. Or, no, never mind, it's level 6. Huh. Thought it was uh, level uh, 7. Also, my niece uh, went for the... Um, uh, when she goes for a level up, she always goes for the attack power. <laughs> Should I keep the true form pin on Mario? Because it doesn't matter if uh, Mallow gets transformed. He's always going to use his specials. Uh, what else we got? Very good. By the way, the music here is great. It's a lot more tense and mysterious and uh, antagonizing compared to uh, how it was uh, in the original. Yeah, I think we were supposed to go down there. That previous room, there was a, like a pipe that was off to a bottom right corner. That's where we're supposed to go. Damn it. I actually didn't want to fight this thing. But whatever. Bye. For reference, shoe form pin protects you from uh, the scarecrow status effect and the mushroom status effect. We haven't seen those status effects before, but uh, we might see them in the upcoming boss. Uh, been playing for almost 10 minutes already. Let's fight this thing. He's kind of in the way. Eh, uh, whatever. Let's do the gauge move. We're gonna soon not be able to do this anymore. Like, at all. Because there's no way to not play with at least uh, three members once you get three members. Oh, that... That was a special enemy, apparently. <laughs> Didn't even notice, because we killed it in one hit. Okay, so this is the room, I believe. Maybe. The water has been drained. Okay, if this is the room, we have to go up there. It's, it's harder to see, and I kind of like that. Now the fish are flopping around, but they're still um, going to be fighting you at full power, even if you, uh, <laughs> even if you screw around with them. Anyway, this is a sequence break right here that the developers were aware of, even way back uh, when they first uh, made this game on the Super Nintendo. Just need to get a boo on the right location. 
Couldn't run! Come on. That, that one might have been good. Damn it, come on. I mean, it, it, it keeps it there, so that's good. You have to jump on them. It's not easy. There we go. Now we're up here. We can get this, and it's a flower. For now, later in the game. That's supposed to be a cricket pie. And when I say later in the game, I see I mean much, much later. This is a dead, a dead end, so it's best to turn back now. Uh, if you know what's good for you, and you're not going to try to fight this guy. So let's do it. Okay, never mind. He doesn't want to fight. <laughs> but it's probably for the best. But yeah, this is a dead end. It's much later in the game. This is supposed to be like an alternate path in a big maze, and... Uh, it leads you to getting the Crooked Pie, which is a secret item. But sequence breaking to get it early here, the devs were aware that players could do that. So they made it so that uh, if you get that treasure chest up there this early on in the game, it's just flower. It's very cool. I actually really liked it that they did that. No freebies. Interesting. I already had three of them though, so it's not that big of a deal. Who's this? Th this must be Balom. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Mo ho ho! Ack! It's a snack attack, and you're it. Balom looks very strange. He's supposed to be—I I think he's a Mesopotamian, something like that creature. The inspiration is not very clear if you're not uh, familiar with that, and I am not. So. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, yeah, I, I'm still mid when it comes to the timing of the super jumps. I, I think the best I'll be able to do is thirty. I'm happiest when I sleep, you know. Ooh, room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? Did no damage right there. Punch! Sleep sauce. Well, yeah, Meryl's uh, off to sleep then. Stick for a body, head full of straw. Give me a scarecrow! Rah, rah, rah! Fortunately, I put the true form pin on. <laughs> Thank you. Wasted your turn. Hey, come on. Um, let's do a jump. I might finish him off right here. No, I won't. Uh, HP rain. I can't stand it. The hunger. The hunger. And now we're down to one party member. I think it. I don't think it's game over if you lose this party member. Balom just immediately spits out uh, the other one, though. Two. Three. Oh god, that was worse. Yeah, I, I think if I'm going to do the super jump challenge, I will have to do it um, on handheld mode, off-screen. The timing is very tight. It's not an easy challenge. People literally practice this for hours to make to get it. You think you've won, huh? Little did you know. I'm all that stopping a flood of water. So long, Sokies. That was scary. Now, also, Balom's lines at the end there are completely different from uh, the original. I don't remember them at all. They, they might have been added. Like to the game, they might have not existed in the original. Or maybe it was a translation mistake, I don't know. Below must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Uh, Mario, do you hear something? Or is it just me? 
Water! Here it comes! We need to switch it back before we're washed away! Jump on a switch. Good job, Mario. Uh, been 50 minutes. We're gonna do these next two segments. They're not too long, after all. <laughs> this is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? No, thank you. We're already on the course. Now off you go. So basically, you press B to uh, slow down your descent, allowing you to get uh, the coins and whatnot. Uh, however, one thing that's not clear whatsoever is the hitbox of Mario. It's smaller than it looks. Also, the controls are displayed over there. Uh, also, there's the holes you can get into. I could have gotten to that one, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of used to the Midas River in a sense, so I'm basically just going to use what I think is the optimal course. Yeah, let's go here. I might as well show it. It's apparently very pretty. Yeah, it is. Too bad it's not playable and we never go through areas that look like this. <laughs> Kinda wish we did. Hey, give me that flower. Like, there's a whole event happening here where the, the bandit is trying to get the flower. And then you get it at the end. That's very cute, and yeah. It's a good thing I did this, but also I wanted to stay on the left, so that's kind of bad. You cannot go through all of the holes uh, on your first attempt. And I'm gonna keep it, make it safe, and just uh, get the focus on the frog coins. There's a h high score you can get of uh, coins uh, while you're doing this. Oh, I might not get that frog coin. Damn it! Yeah, too late. They might have changed the controls a bit. But yeah, these uh, segments right there. They're very cool because of all the animations they left on the characters. And that bandit is not having a good day. Thief, I should say. Hey, that barrel appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> not for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? No, thank you. Send me on my way. Oof. Oh, I was supposed to stay on my side. Whatever. Ow. I was supposed to switch right here. Yeah, I completely forgot. I'm not actually uh, out of uh, shape when it comes to doing the Minus River event. Interestingly enough, I think I prefer the way you collect coins in this version of the game. In the original, when you get the coins, it feels like you're getting knocked against them. And damn, my buttons are... I have to jump preemptively. The fish are also coming in directions that uh, did not uh, happen in the original. Oop. Yeah, the, the whole uh, event has been uh, modified a decent bit. The jumps are tighter and the fish are coming from directions that did not happen in the original. You have to jump uh, faster. I lost a whole bunch of coins right there, but that's that's all for the better because it means uh, the high score is not as uh, difficult to beat. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? You got 46 coins. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones. Tapdoll's pawns got more info on them. You got 46 coins. But that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold them for you, okay? Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. Got a Koopa shell. That is equipment. And that will be it for today, because it's been 20 minutes exactly on my uh, recording. I hope you've all enjoyed this video on this day. Next time, we're actually going to see uh, Mallow's grandpa. Bye-bye!